And then we're back. We're back. We're excited. The master of ceremonies there, Alvin Hegner of the Invest Turks and Caicos Agency. He would guide a short ceremony to officially welcome Virgin Atlantic flights to the Providenciales International Airport in the Turks and Caicos. The joy, palatable. The expectation, high. The dignitaries attending, many. After all, it was an historic day. The governor. And it's wonderful to see that recognized by Virgin in getting the direct flights uh, from London. The deputy governor. When I say direct, this flight is actually direct because compared to other flights that have to stop over in other destinations, you are leaving at 8 p.m. on a Saturday evening and arriving in London first thing on a Sunday morning, fresh and ready for work that Monday morning, as I was. The premier. All of you who've been involved in the creation of such an amazing destination, and it is in the experience, and that is why our tagline is experience. The Minister for Airports show that we are dedicated to teaching the world what Turks and Caicos Islands is all about. The Minister of Tourism today, as we welcome Virgin Atlantic to our shores, we usher in a new era for our tourism industry signifies a monumental shift that promised to yield numerous benefits for our nation. And from Virgin Atlantic on her Virgin trip to the TCI, Hannah Swift. I think it goes to show that we absolutely love leisure travel and premium leisure, leisure travel at Virgin Atlantic. And so adding Turks and Caicos was a no-brainer for us especially with how beautiful it is here. Virgin Atlantic first touched down in the Turks and Caicos on November 4th. The official welcome was rolled out last week. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.